I just got a 3D printer, which you can see behind me, and it is my new favorite thing. Now, I'm not gonna speak to you like I'm an authority in 3D printing or like, here's what you should do, but I'm gonna give you my experience as someone who's been 3D printing curious for a while, and I've now finally made the jump. So, let's get into it. Why did I make the jump now? Well, Bamboo Labs, who makes the 3D printer I got, uh, they've got a wide range of 3D printers. I think there's like four to six printers in their range from like $1,900 printers down to about $200 printers. The one behind me is their lowest end model, uh, their most beginner friendly model, I would say. And it was $179 right now for the holiday sale. And that was cheap enough that it was a no brainer for me to pick up a, a 3D printer uh, and start learning about printing. So the reason I want to get into 3D printing is because I've been around product development my whole life, yet I have always led teams of engineers to develop what we're doing, whether that's application development, uh, the industrial design of specifically drones. Um, I have sort of created the framework around which people develop things. And while that is really fun, I wanna start getting into the weeds. I want to know how to make things in 3D space that make my life in real life more valuable, more easy to live, uh, and that things that solve problems. I want to be able to make things that don't exist. And I also just wanna make more stuff, right? I wanna make more stuff and I wanna buy less stuff. So I also have uh, a sewing machine here and I have started to learn how to sew. And that is basically because I've gotten into bikes and one of the things I love about bikes is how to carry things on bikes, which are bike bags. So I've been learning how to sew so I can start making bike bags. I've started 3D printing so I can start making products. I've gone down the rabbit hole of YouTube where people are telling you how they can, you can start an Etsy store and sell 3D printed stuff and everyone's marketing themselves as 3D printed stuff. I don't wanna make 3D printed stuff. I wanna make products with 3D printing as an avenue to develop those products. Let's talk about my unboxing experience and my getting started experience with the Bamboo Labs printer. I got the Bamboo A1 Mini from Bamboo Labs. I, I'm not gonna tell you what type of printer this is. Uh, I don't know like all the specs. All I know is that it makes good stuff. And the things that I have made have been pretty much flawless. There's been a few learning curves with different filament types, but I feel like that's just generic across the 3D printing world. The owner of the company, the CEO, the founder, he was at DJI, you know, if you don't know DJI, DJI was a, or is a drone company out of China that is the number one drone maker in the world. When I say I lived in China developing drones, I worked for the direct competitor of DJI starting in 2015 called Unique. But DJI has amazing products, an amazing user experience, and the founder of Bamboo Labs was actually the he had many jobs. I'll put his LinkedIn uh, page like right here with his jobs. But basically he started in propulsion engineering uh, in like 2012, 2013, and was the product manager of the consumer drone line at DJI. So he knows user experience, he knows product development, and he's taken that knowledge and experience from DJI and has translated that into 3D printing. And that's where Bamboo Labs got their start. So I started unboxing my printer. I got just the printer, not the AMS Lite. The AMS Lite is a multicolor module that allows you to have four different colors uh, ready to print on your printer. You can also do multicolor printing, which if you're making little models or like Christmas trees or whatnot, you can have different color accents in the same 3D printing without painting your model. 
So I unboxed the printer, I set it up, and they have an app called the Bamboo Handy app. And let's log into that right now. In the first page, I'll show you the devices page. I'm actually gonna change the bed heat because I'm printing in PTEG, which I have experimented with. Um, prints have come off the bed with PTEG because sometimes the print profile in the app is for PLA. And PLA requires a lower temperature. So I've been increasing the bed temperature on the app. You can also change the speed from standard to silent, sport, or ludicrous. Printing with PTEG, I've been leaving that at standard, but I have used sport with PLA. Um, you can get a live view from the printer to see what is happening. This has been helpful for me uh, to check in on prints, uh, check in on the state of prints while I have been traveling. So you can keep an eye on things in the Bamboo app and you can control most of the the 3D printer from the app. Um, but the thing that's very helpful about the app is the models section. This is Bamboo's community of 3D printed models that people can upload. Well, it's, it's models and it's the print profiles, which means like what filament, what temperatures, what infill, all these different settings that are, take some learning to, to understand. I'm still understanding them and, and getting into the slicer software on the computer. It's for another video. Um, but in the app, you, you have like a million things. And so I made collections. And the first thing you want to do is print parts for your printer. Bamboo knows you're gonna do this and there's something called a scraper which is used to pull things off the bed. And one of the things you print first is a scraper tool. And I'll show you that here. Uh, I printed these chain links for two of the cables on the printer. I printed a handle for the top of the printer. I printed a storage box that goes on the side of the printer, a little cubby for the front and a little poop container for the 3D print poop. <laughs> uh, that basically the, the filament like extrudes a little bit so that it's hot and fresh and that is waste and you need a place to put that waste. So I made a little bin that collects that waste instead of flinging it across the room. So there's tons of different uh, models that people have made for various things. Here we can see like a GoPro or another live camera view mount. That's pretty cool. Um, there's a fan cover, which I made. I made this A1 mini spool. So if you get refills of filament from bamboo, that doesn't include the like holder for it. Um, these are helpful and this is small enough that you can print it on the A1 Mini. There's like a dust cover for these different ports and SD card. This is the little drawer that I made and this is the handle that I made. I'll see if I can link all of these things uh, in the description below uh, so you can just quickly get to them. Uh, so that's where you start. You print 3D printed parts. That is a great way to learn how to interface with the printer and how it really taught me like how 3D printed things can hold up to one another, their tolerances, their, um, you know, the, the plastics are like really good. Uh, so you've got to make all these different things to support your printer. You don't have to, but it is good to, and you don't need to design anything. You just go into the app, download what you want and print it. Before we leave the app, let's, let's just continue talking about the app real quick. Um, yeah, I've got like a bathroom section. So an eyeglass holder, that's something I want to make. So my glasses aren't just thrown on the ground. Uh, I made this Q-tip holder, functional. Maybe not needed, but it's a good place to start printing stuff. Uh, I have this towel hanger for a shower rod. I've got two of those sitting on the bench here. These go on your shower rod and you can hang your towel from them. 
pretty self-explanatory. But it's solving a problem. We've been throwing our towels over the shower rod for the last month, and I was like, hey, there's this problem. Can I solve it? Search the Bamboo app, find the thing that I need, and print it. Even if that just removes like an Amazon order or buying more stuff from Amazon, that alone makes it worth it. You can make your own stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of different bathroom stuff. Uh, I've got this section for desk organization. You can see I just put up pegboard uh, down in my basement. So I've got a lot of accessories that I want to print for the pegboard. So I can put pens, pencils, tools, uh, projects up on the boards. So, I mean, there's basically, like, there's everything in here. It's just, you can solve different problems by making different things that simplify and optimize your life, and you can make anything. I was just saying, like, I feel like I'm like a god in the fact that I can will and almost anything into existence. And I, I'm still just using the app. Like, I'm, I haven't gone into 3D design software yet, which is my next adventure is to learn how to do 3D modeling. Because there are certain things I want to do, certain things that I need with a certain function that aren't on the app. So I'm excited to get into that. That'll probably be my next video. Other things I've printed so far. I have printed a handle for the wireless DJI mics. So unfortunately it was for the mic mini. So if you've got a DJI mic mini, the new ones that just came out, let me know, I'll ship this thing to you uh, for like shipping costs, like five bucks. Um, I made the charger blocks for Apple chargers. I made a MagSafe phone mount that I use now next to my bed to mount my phone so it's not just flat on my bedside table. Uh, I made a Fitbit watch charger stand for my girlfriend, she wears a Fitbit. And now instead of just having the Fitbit laying on your bedside table, it's on a charger, it's on a stand, and it displays the time. So it makes it more of a functional piece of uh, furniture. Uh, it's got a function. Uh, and I really enjoy that. I really enjoy solving a problem, making life just a little bit more easy, making life a little bit less um, chaotic. Uh, I made shower rod towel holders that we talked about. I've made the dog poop fire hydrant. Um, this is like a, it holds the dog poop bags. So I printed two of these as Christmas gifts. Um, I'm making these 2025 glasses that you put on for the new year. My nieces and nephews are coming to Utah for the holidays, so I printed these to give to them to celebrate the new year. Thought that would be fun. Um, I made these right angle brackets for the table to screw into the wall to reduce shaking and vibration of the table to hopefully get better quality 3D prints. Uh, I made these shelves behind me for the pegboard wall um, to display prints on. I'll probably experiment with a bunch of pegboard prints. I'll probably make a video specifically just about pegboard prints. And uh, I made this caliper holder right there that holds my calipers nice and straight. Those calipers are gonna be super important for getting proper measurements and getting those measurements into design software. I'm just like so excited for this new adventure that this thing has has started and a, a, new, a new passion, a new hobby uh, and the opportunity to learn some new skills that I think are gonna be incredibly valuable from now into the future. Another thing with this printer is not all the objects in the Bamboo Handy app are able to print on this printer. Uh, this printer has a smaller print bed than all of the other Bamboo printers. The A1 is the same size print bed as the P1P, as the X1 Carbon, yeah, I'm excited to start making my own stuff. I mean, I've already started making my own stuff, but the things I'm printing aren't necessarily like my own. They are things that I have found, that people have designed, that solve a problem. But where I think this gets really exciting is when I'm designing things that I need that solve a problem for me and hopefully solve a problem for other people. 
again, if I do start selling stuff, I don't want to sell 3D printed things. I want to sell products that fix a problem that aren't based around 3D print. I don't even want people to know that the things I'm making might be 3D printed. Um, I'm just excited to make things. And the Bamboo A1 Mini is like super cheap. It's, I mean like, just get this. Get it for your house. Get it for your kids. Get it to solve problems, to change the way you think, to change the way you look at the world. It has changed the way I have looked at solving problems. It has made me identify problems that I kind of was just living with. Um, and I, I'm just incredibly excited to see where this takes me, to see what inspiration uh, I can get. And uh, I'm excited to share the journey. So a couple promises here. I'll never pretend like I'm an authority in 3D printing because I am not. I've been printing stuff for one week. <laughs> uh, two, I'll never sell 3D printed stuff. I don't want to market things as 3D printed. I want them to be a product. And number three, I want to share my journey. This channel has been drones. It's gone to bikes. There will still be both of those things. Um, but now we'll just add in a little bit of 3D printing content. So yeah, that's my journey as like a very new 3D printing enthusiast. Uh, I wanted to share my journey because I bet there's a lot of other people who have bought the A1 Mini or the A1 uh, who are starting to learn how to print and maybe we can go on this journey together. So. If you're new around here, my name's Trent. I have been in the drone industry for the last 11 years, 12 years, I think. Um, I'm a bike enthusiast. I, I do bike packing trips. I like making routes and I'm now getting into making things, both soft goods, sewing and hard goods, 3D printing. I just want to know how to make things, I want to know how to fix things, and I want to reduce my consumption. I want to reduce the amount of Amazon packages I'm getting. I want to reduce my waste, I want to reduce my environmental impact, and I feel like this 3D printer is helping me or is going to help me achieve all of those goals. So I'm super excited, I'm super stoked, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to share the journey with all of y'all. If you're a 3D printing person, if you just got a 3D printer, let me know in the comments. Um, let me know if anything I said was stupid or if I'm on the right track or yeah, I'm just, I'm completely open. I'm a newbie and I'm super excited for what the 3D printer um, has inspired in me. So one thing I like to say around here is never stop chasing your curiosity. All of those things that I want to solve, I'm curious if I can solve them with the 3D printer. So. Never stop chasing your curiosity and subscribe if you haven't. And let's go on this journey together. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.